Hey challengers, so excited for you as you're getting ready to launch your 24 day challenge. Most of you that are watching this video are just inside of 24 hours getting ready to uh, start your challenge tomorrow. So just want to share some last minute thoughts with you as you get ready to launch your first day of your challenge. First of all, I just want to say this, I count it a privilege and a blessing to be able to come alongside you and coach you through this journey. I'm starting to get emails, I'm having conversations with many of you about where you are, where you've been, but I'm really, really excited and inspired by, by what many of you are aspiring to do during your challenge, of course, post-challenge. So I just want to share some tips with you as you get ready to launch. Just make sure that you have these things in place as you're getting ready to start your challenge tomorrow morning. First thing is to really just communicate. You know, this I can't emphasize this or stress this enough. That key to your success is your willingness to communicate with me as your coach. You know, all the points and so forth aren't just about getting a bunch of points so that you can win a contest and so forth. Really, the communication piece of points has to do with me having a way to monitor, encourage, and troubleshoot any aspect of your challenge as you're going through it in real time. Okay, so the point system is really the point system really has to do with the idea of measurement because if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So again, the point system is going to be very, very important. It's going to be a way that I, once again, how I monitor your progress and it'll give us some talking points in terms of follow up or any troubleshooting and certainly any, any encouragement. The other piece that I would highly encourage you to do is just to talk to me. I don't care if it's an email, a text, a phone call. I am available for you. So the idea of talking to me daily and on a regular basis is going to be absolutely critical. You know, I've had Certainly, I've had my successes in coaching people through the 24-day challenge, but quite honestly, the ones that you know just either didn't achieve what they wanted to achieve are usually the ones that don't return my phone calls, don't text me, don't communicate. And I, I, it's not to say that they completely failed; it's just that they could have ended out a much greater result if they would have taken the time and would have humble. I hate to say it this way, but really, it comes down to humbling yourself and subjecting yourself to some proven processes. Challengers, look, I, I'm only here to help you, encourage you. Uh, you know, some of you have talked about, you know, hey, you know, Dave, if you just smack me around, well, yeah, I might do some of that, but really, quite honestly, it's really, I'm here to troubleshoot, I'm here to encourage you, I'm here to kind of tweak the process for you so that you get the optimal results during your 24 day challenge. So, if you are tempted, to not want to communicate with me or not send me texts or emails or however you choose to communicate with me, I'm going to assume one of two things. One, either you're failing miserably or you're going off and doing your own thing and quite honestly, challengers, it doesn't work that way. So I, I trust that you will commit to communicating with me as your coach. In fact, what I'd like for you to do right now is I want you to hit the pause button on this video and I want you to write down a game plan of how you plan to communicate with me as your coach. What time will you be communicating with me? I want you to write that down. I also want you to write down when you will be communicating with me and what, what type of methodology, what type of method of communication you're going to be using. So hit the pause button. I want you to write down, take about 10, 15 seconds, write down when you're going to communicate and how you're going to communicate with me and it's going to be daily, okay? So again, I'm trying to optimize your results. So go ahead and hit the pause button and we'll chat in about 10, 15, 20 seconds, all right? Okay, so we're back on the piece on communication. In case you mess up, this is why communication is going to be very important. I had a challenger a few months back you know, she's, she's down the last week of her, uh, she's down to the last week of her 24 day challenge and she's practically crying on the phone because she went over to grandma, grandma's, they had a grill, they had a grill out and there were hot dogs and, you know, I told her, you know, into the challenge, you know, watch the carbs, stay away from the white potatoes, stay away from the pasta, stay away from the breads and the only thing that was left to eat was hot dogs and she was so upset because she felt that she'd fallen off the wagon and her challenge and the hot dogs I, th I guess they were fried or something or, or whatever the case was but there was a uh, fat I guess there was some fat dripping off of it she was so upset and I said listen 
you've got one week left in your challenge. Let's tweak it, okay? So you kind of messed up a little bit, but you can finish strong. You can do this. And of course, she was she was greatly encouraged just from that brief conversation of having having that conversation with me. And I'm not going to tell you her name. But during her challenge, she lost a lot of weight. I want to say that she lost at least 14 pounds during her challenge and then post-challenge inside of, I, I want to say uh, 45 to 60 days post-challenge, she lost a total of 50 pounds. And one day you'll get to meet her. But anyway, again, stressing the importance of communication, okay? So in the event that you might fail or fall off the wagon or whatever it is, I need to hear from you and we need to go ahead and correct that. Otherwise you know, it's just going to be a lot tougher. Also along the lines of communication, there's a reason why we're doing this as a group. It's a 24-day challenge, group challenge, and the whole idea of doing this in a group is to develop a sense of community. And the community is not only just for accountability, but it's also the, the idea that you're accountable to a group of people. And whatever you do, put away this, this, this thought process. I had a conversation with a challenger not too long ago, and he was saying, you know what, I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm just going to kind of low profile. I'm not going to talk about my results until the end. I'm just going to go, bum -ba -da -dum, look at me, I, you know, I lost all this weight or, you know, gained all this muscle and energy. No, the whole thing is to actually be on a journey with a group of people, like-minded people. And you're there not only to be held accountable, but to also encourage. So figure out how you're going to be among your team teammates, there's, there's actually 10 or 11 of you that are going at this contest together, and but you know, hey, the friendly bantering and the challenging, that's all cool, you know, continue to do that in a good spirit, but at the end of the day, you're part of a community, and that community is there to hold you accountable, to, uh, to encourage you, and to inspire you, and you will also serve as that inspiration and encouragement for someone else on the challenger team.